I... I don't think the, the cuts were necessary as they were done. I think that's what really was troubling is that there were three budgets that were provided by our city manager in which uh, there were no cuts. Now granted, there's been some criticism of the pension smoothing plan, which uh, um, one of my opponents calls a scheme, but uh, it is something that we've used in the past to help us. Uh, and um, there's several municipalities struggling. And what we needed to do was to basically see how the pension sm smoothing plan may have helped us see if it, if it actually would have been financially viable to do that. Or we had to, again, work with the fire department to see if there were any more concessions that can be made. But what I didn't like to see happen was the, the 10 cuts. That's pretty deep. It's a deep cut into, uh, into the fire department. It was done so in a way that that really had a lot of, I believe, had a lot of disregard for, for the for the firefighters and for all public employees. And I, what really hit home was we just had an opportunity to apply for a grant that would have uh, basically enabled the city to keep those firefighters on for two years and if there was any attrition like somebody retired there'd be a waiver so we wouldn't have to hire back but it would have given us two years the resources the money and the time to work with the fire department to to you know to try to figure out a way that we could you know save money and to to I, at least, at least, um, consider how the fire, fire, the fire department could be restructured. But all that was, you know, thrown out once they decided not to apply for the grant. So here we are. There's a lawsuit pending uh, from the union. There is gridlock. There is, you know, um, there's uh, counselors that are pitting. Uh, city, you know, certain city departments against other city departments. That's not a way to, to me, to run a city or to, to set the tone. To me, um, I think that, you know, if, you know, we're all, you know, all the city employees should be treated with respect, no matter what department you're in. They should be afforded that respect. And I really think there were alternatives that were out in the open, that were not taken. There were lifelines that were, were, were given to this council that were refused. And I, I, I just think that, you know, there, there needs to be, uh, needs to be a council that's going to show the public that they're going to look at all the alternatives before they make these major cuts. And I think this council ignored the alternatives and really done, had done this in a way that, that kind of um, was aggressive and went outside of proper, uh, you know, went, went, went outside the proper way to deal with, with staffing issues. So, I mean, that's what, and that's in the courts now. And we will, you know, we'll have to wait and see how the judge uh, rules. But I think if we had taken if the city had applied for this grant, this would have basically saved the city a lot of money in legal fees as well, and uh, and would have actually brought federal revenue back into the city, and we'd have ten employed firefighters, you know, buying groceries, living in our community, and again having their children go to our schools, and that's that's the biggest thing is that we need to realize that like this is. 
you know, we're, we're a, we're a city and we're all in this together. So if, you know, if some of us succeed, we, in a way we all succeed, but if some of us lose, again, it hurts everyone. It's not, it's not just like, it's not, I don't want this us versus them, um, attitude in city council. So I wouldn't have made the cuts. I definitely, um, would have tried to, to, I would have voted to go, to apply for that grant at the very least, at the very least. Uh, I know that, that, uh, we had city workers, um, working to get that grant, working hard to get that grant, you know, and that's another thing. They put the time in to, to apply for, to try to get ready for that grant. And then their labor is, was done in, in vain because the council, to me, decided on a whim to just not do, to, not to do it. And I think it was really in bad taste. I think it was, you know, just a, a I, it, I, I still don't understand why they would do that. It seems, seems really uh, aggressive and, uh, and not thoughtful. And, um, you know, I would even venture to say vindictive to some degree.